Hey guys, and welcome again to the Tactical Con Don. Uh, I'm, I'm Patrick. Are you sure you're Patrick? I am. You're a little confused out of there. Well, I was about <laughs> to say that uh, you were back from Poland, but I wanted to introduce ourselves first. Okay, well then Patrick. I'm Will, and yeah. he is actually Patrick. Yeah, and hey, we discussed X-Wing Miniatures and Imperial Assault, Rebellion, and Destiny, Destiny yeah. Soon Legion, Soon Legion, and everything, everything in the Star Wars universe. Uh, you know, it's it's great. We're back. Um, we a lot of the stuff that you guys have been seeing was stuff that we pre-recorded while Will was out on vacation. So yeah. this is our first week back recording about three weeks. Three weeks, yeah, but it's almost a month ago. Yeah, so. and it's good to have Will back in the country. And uh, we got some stuff for you this week. Yep. Uh, so Tuesday on uh, so this is the flight plan. Sorry, this is the flight plan for uh, twelve the week twelve three. Yep. And uh, happy December, everybody. Yep. Tuesday, December 5th, uh, we're going to be doing Flying with Friends, and we have uh, um, Imperial Aces versus... 3 t Three t <laughs> He has no name. I have no name for it. It's no po, cool name? No. Po, Nian, Nung, and uh, Jess. Yeah, try saying that like five times fast, right? No, I'm good. <laughs> I feel like anyway, you know, your check that is. video out, man. It's some like old school <laughs> stuff. Uh, and uh, man, I was excited about flying those interceptors. That was like one of my first good lists I ever built. Yeah, they're uh, tough with all of the mods that they get and everything. Right, yeah, and it's, uh, it's a rough list. I actually won my very first game of X Men with that list, or, or a variation of the list, because I don't think I had auto thrusters at the time. I was, right, I think I was flying with targeting computers or something like that. But um, yeah, I won my very first game with that list, so it was cool. Yeah, right. Uh, twelve seven. On um, uh, we've got uh, again another flying with friends. Um, Patrick is going to be flying Asajj Bosk, not, not Ketsu Bosk. Asajj Bosk, and I am going to give in and try dash just for Joel's sake. <laughs> I don't want to hear it, Joel. Shut it. Um, but I am flying a better version of Dash than him. I am flying a Dash Miranda. It's not, not a Dashy Poo. Yeah, it's not a Dash Poo. It is Dash Miranda, not a Dash Nim. <laughs> Um, so we'll see how that one we goes. We really give Joel crap, don't we? We do. But, you know, it's because of his man crush. And I don't care if you have a man crush on somebody, but it, Joel has taken it a little too far. Too much. Too much. Yeah. Too much. yeah. So, yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna cave in and fly Dash, and we'll see how that goes. So as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, uh, we hadn't recorded a while because um, Will and his wife went to Poland. Uh, Will's wife had to go there for work. So how was that? It was cold. Really? Yeah, it was cold. It, was, it actually wasn't too bad. There were a few days that were really cold. Um, I did find a face group, uh, Facebook group there, reached out to them for X-Wing in, uh, I was in Roqual, um, and found a group and um, said, hey, when do you guys get together? Uh, and they said, normally we get together Wednesday. Hey, well, we're also having a tournament on Saturday. That's so awesome. I thought, great. One of the other guys was like, come out, I'll introduce you. So I went so out. How many euros did that cost you? Uh, it, it was. Uh, they don't use yours. Uh, they don't, they're not on Zol the Zoltzies, yeah. which is Zoltzies. Yes, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. So it's twenty, <laughs> which in equivalent is five dollars U.S. dollars. How, so many, how much? Twenty. US it was dollars? twenty Polish currency, so but five U.S. dollars. It was about five U.S. dollars. Oh, they're they're current. They're, yeah, they're it's very very. So that was a good exchange yeah. right for you. <laughs> Up the, my meals never was over twenty bucks, and I had some good food. Um, but no, so yeah, I went out, um, got to meet some guys, um, so, played one game Wednesday night, took some just junk list, um, and got beat uh, Monday night the one game. But it was fun. Um, then went back out Wednesday night, took another junk list, got beat. Um, but it was funny because uh, the first night I had gone out on Monday. I was I took Vader, Merrick Steel, Tie Advance, not the Defender, and Omega Leader. Just, you know, playing around with different things. And um, the question was brought up to me, why would you use Omega Leader? Why would you not use this TIE Bomber instead? Uh, with the shuttle title with, on it? With the shuttle title. So, so it was really very much like their the mindset there is just different on what they think. And I was like, you know, we kind of went back and forth, and I wish I'd written down everything he said. But really, it came out, I was like, well... What were you thinking? Why did you do that? Yeah, yeah just... No. So was, what videos did you get when you were over there, Will? I didn't because I left the camera at all. <laughs> so I didn't get any videos. Um, but you know, uh, but he, we were talking about why I would use a megalator, and it was like, well, in, you know, in the states, a lot of people use a megalator. It's hard to hit him. Blah blah blah. He's a closer. Yeah. And they had no idea. 
Right. So and then you also said something about they just don't play with bombs. They don't play with bombs. So I went into the tournament on Saturday, um, and um, I took a Miranda Nim variation. I, I played it here before. It's the one with experimental on her face, so she yep. can still slam and drop and everything. It's a hundred points. Um, the, the the first gentleman I played had only been playing for a few days, so sure. it. I felt a little bit bad. I no, heard you didn't. I, I did actually. Um, I, I tabled him, but you know he played well for not playing very long. He just didn't know. Um, the next person I played happened to be um, the guy who has finished um, top table in the last two European system opens that they've had. Okay. So, so the last two years he's finished like top table. Yeah, I don't think he's won either one of them, but he's. Been <laughs> But he's doing the table. All right. So uh, I played him, and he played a palp shuttle. Mm -hmm. uh, he used a mega leader because he wanted to try it, but he didn't use juke. He like had a different configuration, and he had two tie strikers. But you know, that's I, why he probably didn't have the points. Or yeah, but um, uh, he he did not know. He was not sure which bombs did which. So that kind of was like okay, you know. Go into my third match. I actually play the guy who you'll see later on. I play his list. It's the three T seventy list. Oh, okay. Um, he, I think, finished top four in last year's European System Open. So there were some good players. <laughs> good right? players. I did beat him, and I beat him because of the bombs. And again, they, you know, what, what, how many dice is this automatic? What does this, you know? Sure. So, so they, they just don't. I don't think they see a lot of bombs over there. So that was really interesting. And then my final game um, was against. Uh, not this year's, but last year's European champion. So what you're saying is go over to the European yeah. championships and just lay, way lay on with bombs? Yeah, if you take bombs, you have a good chance. I, I lost, well, I lost two out of, you know, I, I only won two, and I lost two. Oh, that's um, not bad. I mean, you know, I mean, it was... Especially, it, I mean, there's always a big difference when you're playing unknown players as yeah. versus the people you play all the time because you get yeah. used to them. It's like... You know, you know what I'm, they're gonna do? Yeah, I'm, on Thursday nights, I'm out there just hammering away on people, and then I go to a tournament, and you know, you get you think, oh, I can beat this list. I beat this list before, but they and play you lose, different. and they play differently. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, I mean, uh, of the of the three out of four people that I had to play in the tournament, all of them were very obviously very good because they finished so high for you know many years. So, but it was it was fun, um, you know. The, Language barrier sometimes got in the way, so you know, some speak English. Yeah, all of them speak English. All of them just, spoke English. One, you know, one gentleman did not have as good at English, uh, but you know, it was funny because you know we we look at we pull a damage card, and so we'd be looking and we're like, okay, how do I explain what this one is? And you know, sometimes the 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 uh, the wording doesn't come right across right, so they read it out, and I was like, okay, yeah, no. So we made it work. It was a lot of fun. Um, I mean, it, it, I think if you're ever over overseas, I think you should find somebody to play with if you can take your sure. shorts. Because I mean, like I said, these guys, um, all of them, um, except for the first gentleman, just because you know, new, he only been playing I think ten days. Um, I mean, just the their maneuvers were just right. spot on. Never bumped, never hit any rocks. I mean, just tight, really good flyers, really good. I, mean, I, I like, I respect that. I love the, I love yeah. the people that fly well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, did you and you didn't see any of that uh, three wookie? No three wookies. Um, lots of uh, so what I saw over there. There there are a few uh, imperialists. I think I saw a dash. I think it was a dash Miranda list. Mm -hmm. um, Dingar um, Asajj list. Um, an Asajj Bosk list. Um, a lot of different stuff. Okay. A Ray Poe list, straight out of the box almost. Um, but that was a gentleman who had just started flying. Um, lots of fun. I almost took Racklo. You should have taken Racklo. There, there were three Racklo oh. lists. <laughs> so well, good, good I was like, thinking. wow, you know. So, yeah. And I was surprised. I thought I was really going to have to play one of them. But, yeah. I no. think you should have played the seven... The seven, seven ships, ships are crazy. crazy. Yeah, they probably would have been like, "What is this guy doing?" <laughs> uh, no, it was really fun. Everybody out there was really great. Um, didn't have any problems with anybody. You know, and just really friendly. How big it, was the store? Um, probably it was, small. I bet. It was smaller. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, they, they had a, they got a, they got a lot of real estate. Yeah, yeah and, and but know, they had a back room that had one, two. You could fit three, four, five, six. You could fit six. eight mats. 
Oh, well, probably that's in there. And then they, that's a big, that's right. a big size. And I mean, then they had so another small. store uh, or another part, but they had a huge miniatures game going on. I mean, it took up. I mean, I like a war did, game or something. Yeah, it, okay. it was probably twenty and by twenty. Did feet. you buy any uh, Polish ships? I did buy some Polish ships. I bought a um, Tie Advanced. I bought a Tie Bomber because I forgot a card, and I bought a YT twenty four hundred because I forgot a card, and I probably could have said, "Hey, I don't have the cards." They probably would have been okay with it, but so I just give it to Joel. Yep, no, I'm gonna burn it in front of him. So now I have three YT twenty four hundreds. I'm gonna have to start flying dash. A dash lead by this. Dash Leo. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, that sounds like that was a lot of fun. Um, so we've got uh, some waves dropping in next week. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, wave 12. The, the wave some 12. People, did you say people were saying 13 as well? well? Yeah, they're calling the other two the bomber and the silencer one wave, and then the other, <coughs> the other three ships another wave. And I don't know if FFG has verified if it's wave 12 or and 13 and honestly i haven't looked but um the looks like street date will hit um this thursday and is that going to include the um the new um shuttle for the yes it's going to be the bomber the the new resistance right. bomber the tie silencer yep um it is going to be the gunship star gun uh yeah the whatever. imperial gun uh, yeah. rebel gunship no, imperial, imperial gunship that gunship. thing's gonna be good um, the new scum ship that's got that bullseye feature on it. Oh, yeah, with the, the little... Yep. yep. The and little then mark. the new shuttle for the Ghost. Huh, that's a lot of ships. Yeah, so five ships. Um, I'm excited about this way. Like, I, there's several ships I'm really excited about. I like the bomber. I can't wait. I guess they're all... I'm excited about them all. The gunship. Yeah. The... Uh, I'm not too excited about the scum ship. Or, you know, I get the... the the gunship for the Imperials, yeah, but the gunship. I'm telling you, the gunship. The, gun, the gunship is going to be good. There are a lot of people making three and four. Oh no! I mean, it's going to be this. And I am very excited about that Thai silencer. I I like both. Uh, the big, the good. I like the uh, color in and, and then the, the uh, blackout test pilot. Yeah. I mean, their abilities are cool. There's some cool cars in there. There's some neat stuff to do. I can. I would love to put together two of those and then throw in like some kind of blocker. Yeah, little uh, support ship blocker ship. The tie aggressor with TLT. There you go. <laughs> uh, you know, Giving you ideas. <laughs> uh, and I'm so, well, that's 25 points. I mean, that'd be tough to get in there with uh, yeah. 45 points it's going to take to put uh, Kylo, on the, Kylo on the board and then and, uh, 31 just for the uh, other guy. With yeah, you're not going to. I don't think you'll get anything. I mean, now there. you're already 76 right there. So, uh, I think what the cheapest TIE yeah. fighter is 12. Yeah, something like that. It might be a little TIE fighter with um, with some crack shot. Yeah. I mean, you yes. can fit it in there. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, that the supposedly street date, that's what we're well, hearing. What we're have to, if I'm going to get cracked, honestly, I'm going to get cracked. You're still thinking about this list. I'm still thinking about this list, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, but the. <laughs> Thursday, it's supposed to, you know, and obviously it may not get to some stores. Um, that was the other interesting thing. Um, when I went in, I took harpoon missiles on a list, and he, they hadn't seen it yet because their guns for hire hadn't come out yet. Wow. And they, they finally did get them while I was there, but so they were about three weeks behind. Um, so it's just interesting how things work out. Right. Oh, um, <coughs> so when we, we all, when we get the new ships, uh, we're going to... We'll go opening them so that we can do unboxing videos for them, and uh, we know that there'll be other ones out there, but we're going to do them anyway because why yeah. not? Might as well. Yeah. I mean, everybody's seen everything in them, but we want to take them out, and look at them, kind of show about everything, it. and talk about things, and then uh, and then we'll do some review. We'll do a, we'll do a review on those ships. Uh, yeah. I don't think we'll do separate videos for each one, but we'll do a, a few yeah, sure. and then a few more. Yeah. Um, but I'd like to re do a review on that. Just talk about our thoughts, and, and we're going to get some thoughts from some of our other friends and players that we know yep um so we got that uh, also um what's coming up it's 11 days to 11 days christmas to... yes christmas is coming early That's in right. the form of the last jedi God, i'm so stoked for this thing man like i was seeing so... a lot of people going oh i'm not gonna watch any previews and i kind of wish i hadn't but it's just made me more excited i mean there's some great space battles and... yeah it's going to be really cool. I mean, <laughs> I, I so I played, I got the, I don't know if you've seen it yet, the, the Star Wars Battlefront 2 game. Um, Everybody's whining about that. Okay, spoiler alert. If you have not played the campaign, 
Or if you have don't just don't want to know something. Spoiler turn alert, off turn now. it off now. So in the campaign, you play as this Inferno squad. They start off as Imperials. They go over to the Rebellion, join the Rebellion. Uh, two of the characters get together, apparently, and have a daughter. At the end, Kylo Ren finds somebody, finds one of the, the, the guy, and um, at the end, he basically is like, the other guy tells Kylo Ren, don't go after her. We don't know who she's talking, or who he's talking about. So, I think they put it in there to make you Why think that. Why don't do that? Ray, I didn't want to spoil for me. I don't think it's actually Ray's parents, but that's what it is. So I just thought I'd say, but I think they put that in there. But what's interesting is they're supposed to be in a continuation of the story. Okay. So for the campaign, but I don't think it's Ray's parents. But I just wanted to say. God, now you're terrible. Me. I didn't even think to ask you. <laughs> I should have said, put your hands in. Well, we're going we're gonna to Facebook Live from outside the theater and see if we can talk to some people and, and get their, uh, get how, see how excited they are, what their thoughts are about the movie. And then when we come out, we're going to shoot a video. It will not be on, we're not doing live no. because we don't want anybody yelling out spoilers. But I will say <laughs> this. Three weeks after the movie comes out, we're going to talk about it. Yeah, I think Period. after January 1st. Well, I mean, I think I think anybody watching this sh this channel here, the show, would have seen it. They hadn't. They're not a real Star Wars fan, and they can just so you know, think, hear the spoilers. Yeah. Whatever. We're going to talk about that because I think after January first, which is a little over two weeks, I think it's fine. And we'll just you know we'll have to put spoilers. Hey, spoilers! We're going to talk about. Well, we're going to talk about the movie because I'm excited, man. I just I, you know what else you know what else is going to happen uh, over the next weeks. The Star Wars movies is going to get watch the crap out of it. Oh, yeah. I'm, de I'm definitely going to throw Force Awakens in the day we're going. Probably. I'm going to try to time it so that it ends and then I drive over and meet you guys. <laughs> Just to keep up. I mean, it's not, yeah. you know, I mean, it's well, we what I do, man. J.J. Abrams movies. Oh, God. You know, he's directing the next. I know, I'm excited. I love J.J. Oh, Abrams. God. You know what, though? Ron Howard's going to be directing the Han Solo movie, so that's just amazing. If he brings Brian Grazer in with it, it would just be awesome. Well, it'll, we'll see what happens with that, because they did a lot of reshoots, apparently. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. So. Well, that's, that's fine. Right. That's all right. They just did it. They made it better. I, they, they were talking to me, and I said, no, that's crap. That's good. And yeah. Ron Howard so, called me and just you know, made sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I like that boy, Opie. Oh, there you go. <laughs> People I told Richard crazy. Cunningham, dude, people don't know what you're talking about. He's like, what is he talking about? Ron Howard used to be an actor, and these are like characters he played. I know that. There's Some no, of them, I bet you don't. Oh There's I, no way that anybody's listening to this doesn't know who O.P. Taylor is or Richie Cunningham. All right, well, leave comments below if you don't know who they are. Yeah, and don't. And I'm sure everybody's. Like, I don't know who they are. Mine, but yeah. just shows your age, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. That thing's still in syndication. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna be. Uh, so I think really soon, like in the next week or so, we're going to um, launch our uh, Twitter, Twitter account and a Instagram Instagram account. And we're gonna be at the regionals here uh, two days after we see Star Wars. Yeah. Well, really, a day after we see Star Wars, but I'm gonna go the next day again. Yeah. So the 16th is our regionals, and that's going to be yep. held at Raleigh um, yeah. at, or no, Carrie, Carrie. at the uh, Gaming Armory. Yeah. Gamers Armory, Gaming Armory. And it's got 60 people. It filled up. They could only hold 60, and that's sold out. Well, so, I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. I um, hopefully we'll be able to set our camera up and have a, our own little feature table we can shoot some video at. Yeah. Um, and uh, Well, you get a buy. I do get a buy. I get a buy. Awesome. First round. I'm already one to know. Yeah. I, you know what? If I lose the rest of my matches, I'm all good. I won one. I'm good, I'm good with that, man. I'm have fun. I don't care. Win or lose, care. I'm just going to have a good time, huh? Yeah. I, I'm going to care. And I'm probably going to be three rounds in and be like, this game sucks. I hate it. Uh, I still don't know what I'm going to fly. So. Well, it's all right. Maybe I'll, I'll fly know. Dash my Miranda. Dash Miranda? Well, you do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll see how you do uh, Thursday on that. Dude. Yeah. And then you can decide if you want to fly. I'll fly against Joel and beat his Dash Net list. <laughs> so, yeah, man, uh, you know, if you uh, if you watch the show and, and you haven't met us before, you know, come up and uh, introduce yourselves at Regionals. And uh, we're going to, uh, I think we might, we're going to try to get, we put, we're going to uh, put in an order for some stickers, so. Yeah. We'll have those for the uh, show, and uh, 
and we'll see you either at the regionals or we'll see you at your at your store sometime. Maybe we're going to yeah. start a uh, at, at first year. We're going to start trying to go around and go to some different stores. All maybe other states even. Uh, yeah, we just want to spread the spread the tactical time time, man. And, yeah, uh, get it out there. Yeah. So right. like us on Facebook, share, uh, comment. Give us list ideas. List ideas. We want um, list ideas, man. You know, we're gonna try and start bringing in more people. We've had, you know, Dan and Joel on try and bring in some. After more the people. first year, let's get the, we'll get through the holidays. Yeah, holidays and, are yeah. gonna be weird, but after that, we're gonna try and have somebody on different. Yeah, we're gonna um, have somebody on every week, hopefully. And then, you yeah. know, uh, give, but yeah, give us different list ideas. Yeah, we like that. So, yeah. I think that's about all we got. Yep. So straighten up and fly right. <laughs>